Gamer. How's it going, sports gamers? Mike Straw, Sports Gamers Online here. And some major news from the world of gaming broke on Monday as Notre Dame is opting out of EA Sports College Football. In an announcement on early Monday afternoon, University of Notre Dame Athletic Director Jack Swarbrick said that the school won't provide its names, logos, and other branding to EA Sports for the new game. Citing a lack of name, image, and likeness, or NIL agreements, that determine if student athletes are able to profit off their inclusion. In his statement, Swarbrick said, as those rules are developed, it is our strong desire that student athletes be allowed to benefit directly from allowing their name, image, and performance history to be used in the game. Now this doesn't mean that Notre Dame for sure won't appear in the game. If somehow the NCAA reaches an NIL agreement that allows players to earn a cut of the game's profits, then things could change rather quickly. The NCAA has stated that it will be revisiting its rules to allow college athletes the ability to make money while remaining eligible for play. For that to happen though, it's likely that student athletes would have to be able to negotiate collectively, much like professional athletes, which adds a wrinkle to that whole amateur athlete argument that the NCAA has conveyed. Now the NCAA is dead set against a union because, as we mentioned, it'll drastically change things when labeling the student athletes as amateurs. As far as those rule changes go, it was supposed to be revisited in January, but was delayed indefinitely in order to try and find middle ground. So still, as of now, EA Sports College Football won't include any form of player likenesses or player history, but many schools will still provide their names, logos, stadiums, and uniforms for use. With one of the largest institutions opting out, however, it'll be interesting to see if any other major schools decide to follow suit. Though it may be tougher for other schools to do so due to being part of larger conferences, whereas Notre Dame is still an independent program despite playing in the ACC during the abbreviated 2020 season. But now, sports gamers, we want to pass the questions off to you. What do you think of Notre Dame opting out of EA Sports College football? Do you think this is something that'll change between now and the game's release? Or do you think this is something that'll put more pressure on the NCAA from EA in order to get the biggest university in America in the game? Let us know in the comment section below, leave a like on this video, and be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and hit that bell so you never miss any of our latest videos. And as always, visit our website at sportsgamersonline.com.